guy I got this truck from, I ran into him about three weeks ago at a show, and he was wanting to know what all I had changed the truck. And I said, well, it's shorter list. I'll tell you what I haven't changed. Steering box, transmission, everything else I've redone. I'm Matt Cox. Uh, this is my 1936 C1 International. I live in Berea, Kentucky. Uh, I decided to come down to the Hot Rod Reunion this weekend. I found this truck and a local friend of mine had it. Uh, it was more of a rat rod. That's really not my kind of thing, but I wanted more of a classic hot rod, if you will. I've had several friends help me with it. Uh, I had a friend, Mike Everso, help me make this visor. Friend Mitchell Satterfield helped me build this motor for it. It's a 350, nothing crazy, just good, dependable motor. On the motor, the only thing that's left from when I got the truck is I kept the intake, and it's a YN. The valve covers, I tried to find an old set, and I looked and looked and looked. I bought them out of Washington State. They sent them, the guy sent them to me. They was painted about four colors. I had to strip them down, but they're true old YN valve covers. I took it plumb apart, boxed the frame. It's on original frame. It's got a 40 Ford front end on it. I got a Holley carburetor on it. It's not nothing big, it's a 650. Does good, I can't, you can't crowd it. You gotta just get going, but I can roll down the interstate cruising 85 if I want to, you know, rolling, you know. I like driving it, I drive it everywhere. Uh, I built it last year, it's got 13,000 miles on it as of right now. So I had the original bed, but it was in rough shape. A, a tree had fell across it. So I made the bed back by the design of International, but I left out the, the pocket holes and I made it six inches shorter to make it look portion right without the fenders. I had to raise the floor up to clear my shots, put coilovers on the rear, it's four bars in the back. It is chopped and channeled. Uh, that's why I made these filler panels after I made the bed to make it match. I painted it myself, uh, nothing special. It's international red, international white. I had a friend in uh, Harrisburg, Kentucky, Little Jack. He pinstriped it and done my stripes. On the scallops, I wanted more traditional and he wanted to do his things and we kind of combined and that's what we got. So it's, you don't really see nothing that style. I used a, uh, which they don't make nothing for international, I used a 40 Ford radiator, but I had to cut the neck off, move it out front, and I kind of just guessed and fabbed it up, and when I got done, it was actually an inch too high, but it is what it is, it works, it keeps it cool. I don't run no electric fans like a lot of people do, and it, it runs 180, that's what thermostat's in it. It kind of rides a little rough, which most of this stuff does. I put a set of Harley shocks and springs on it to stiffen it up some more, to, Stuff. Uh, I'm always cutting and changing on it. I mean, uh, I'm liable to take the front off and move it out some more to clear the frame, but it is on original frame. A lot of people think it's not, but it is original frame. They made this body style three years, 34, five, and six. That's the original dash. Everybody wants to know what that dash is out of, but that's the original dash. Now my camper, I built it from scratch. Uh, the trailer's old, a uh, 60s trailer. It was a boat trailer. I just, I winged it. Everybody wanted to know about my plans, and I said, uh, I guess they're in my head. I, I, I didn't, I didn't do no research. I just built it. I kind of looked at her friends. But it, actually, the, when I made the sides of it, that's actually my arm span on a piece of wood. And I sat down and just drawed it out, just like that. And I cut it out. I skinned it. That's actually aluminum sheet metal from a friend of mine's uh, shop, Wayne Bowen. I built it in probably a couple months. Uh, but I did try to find like period correct stuff. You know, like I found the right old windows and put in it and uh, found the old glass, like mid-century lights and put on it. And uh, really just try to do more traveling cheaper is what I'm trying to do. I don't know if it really works out that way. 